CCC family, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet, and today we are going to learn how to do a beginner-friendly beanie. It's a textured beanie. It's worked from the bottom up. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into our materials and our tutorial. So the yarn I'm using is just a worsted weight for yarn. This is a 4.0 millimeter hook. Um, that's what the size I'm using with the worsted weight for yarn. I'm, you're going to need a pair of scissors and you're going to need a darning needle. You might need a stitch marker, but that's totally up to you. You don't have to have one, okay? But for the ribbing that I'm gonna show you how to do, I've got one completed here. There are 52 rows of ribbing, and the way that you count these is by twos. So right where you see a ridge, okay? There's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, and you keep going till you get 52. And this is to fit a, like a regular size adult head. This isn't large, it's not small, it's just regular size head, okay? Let's get started. So I'm just gonna pull out some worsted weight yarn that I have, and I'm gonna show you how to start with the ribbing. So we're going to make a slip knot. Now, if you're unfamiliar, while I say this is a beginner-friendly project, you do need to actually know how to crochet. So if for some reason you are not familiar with holding a hook, if you're not familiar with um, how to hold your yarn, how to manipulate your yarn, things like that, or if you're not familiar with any of the stitches in this video, there is a beginner, absolute beginner video below that will help you with all of that, okay? But we're gonna make a slip knot, and then we're going to chain nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine, just like that. So we have nine. And then we're not gonna work into this chain. We've got our loop on our hook and we're not gonna work into this stitch, excuse me, this stitch right here. We're gonna go into the, or it, it can be called a chain. So these are chain stitches. So you could either call them a stitch or a chain. But when you hear that word, go into the second chain from the hook. Go into the fourth chain from the hook. What that basically means is, is from the hook right here, where you're coming out of, you're coming out of this stitch. You see it's moving back and forth through this stitch. So you can't even work into that one. Um, I guess you could try to work into it um, and get a thing, but it's really gonna feel weird. It's not gonna be right, okay? So that's why it says go into the second stitch. So we're gonna go into the second one and we're gonna yarn over, go through this stitch, pull up, you have three loops on your hook, go through all three loops. Okay, so what we just worked there was what we call a half double crochet. So if you're not familiar with that stitch, I'm gonna show you again, you're going to yarn over, meaning you're gonna put your yarn over your hook. You're gonna go into your next available stitch, pull up your yarn, you've got three loops on your hook, go through all three loops. And again, yarn over, go into your next stitch, pull up your yarn, you have three loops, go through all three loops. So you're just gonna do that all the way down, and when you get to the end, you should have eight half double crochets. And we're on our last stitch right here. So if you're looking at it, this is what it looks like. So again, yarn over, go into your last stitch, pull up your yarn. You have three loops, go through all three loops, okay? So there we go, there's our finished eight half double crochets. Now you're going to chain one and turn your work, okay? And now we're going to be working in the back loops only. All right, so here we've got our chain one. We're not gonna be working into that. We're gonna go into this first stitch right here, okay? This stitch. You're gonna yarn over, but this time, you're gonna be doing a half double crochets again, but you're only be going through the back loop. So if we're looking at it from the side, you could think that this was your back loop because you see all these right here, okay? So let me get my darning needle. So right here, you see this, and you see this. So you might think logically that the back loop would be here, but you need to make sure that you're actually looking at the top of your work. 
So if you're looking at the top of your work, you're gonna see these V's, V, 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 all the way down. And those are the actual stitches you're gonna be working into, and you're gonna be working in this back one right here, all the way along right here, these back ones, okay? So again, we're going to yarn over, go into our first stitch right here in the back loop only, pull up, you have three loops, go through all three loops. Again, back loop only, pull up, all three loops. And again, back loop, pull up, three loops. So you're gonna keep doing that all the way down. And again, you should still have a count of eight. Okay, and now we're on our last one, and this one is kind of hard to see. If I'm looking at the back, again, I'm seeing these two stitches right here, and you would think that you might should work into those, but you need to turn it on its side, and you can still see the V here at the end. So yarn over and go through the back loop. And also, you can see that when you go through the back loop, you're pulling these other stitches forward. And that's what we want it to do for our ribbing, okay? It not only gives it a beautiful look, but it also gives it some elasticity. And that's because of the way that the stitch is worked. So again, chain one, turn your work. And again, yarn over, go through your first stitch, working in the back loop only. Make sure you turn this last one on its side. And sometimes it is hard to find, so just look there for that V stitch. Chain one, turn your work, and repeat again, back loops only. So you're gonna do that all the way along for 52 rows, because remember, I showed you how to count that at the beginning for our ribbing, okay? Um, so you want 52 rows to fit an average size head, adult head. Okay, so that's what you're going to do. You're just going to keep going and going. As you can see, you've got these beautiful little ridges here, and each one of those ridges counts as two. So just remember that as you're counting for your ribbing. So what I'd like to do is just go ahead and pause the video. You go ahead and finish your total ribbing and then we'll meet back up again once you get to 52 and I'll show you how to join them together. Okay, so this is the ribbing that I had completed. I have my 52 rows. It's nice and elastic. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to take it and we're going to fold up and join it right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut off and then I'm gonna sew it together. So I'm gonna cut off right here, leaving a long enough piece so that I can work in my ends here. But the key is, is that I want, um, I want this to be the top of my, my beanie here. So this, where you see this piece right here where we started should be facing down, and this should be the top up here. So I wanna make sure that I start from there. So I'm going to simply tie off like that, and I'm going to put this onto my darning needle here, and I'm just gonna sew them together. You could crochet this together, um, but I want that to be my top, so that's why I'm doing it this way, because it didn't end on it for my 52. You could do one more row, and it would have probably ended up on the other side. And I'm just going in and out going through each stitch, pulling it together. Okay, just like that. And then I can work in my ends, but the first thing I'm gonna do is turn this inside out, okay? So once I turn this inside out, this is still my bottom down here, and this is my top, 
okay? So wherever I see this piece coming out down here, that's my bottom. So if you need to keep that there to let you know, then you can. I just don't wanna be working through these stitches down here. I wanna be working through the ones right there that I ended on. But so what I'm gonna do is, is um, I wanna show you how to work in these ends real quick. And this is how you're gonna work your ends for your entire project or any project that you're working on to make sure that it doesn't come undone. This is definitely something you're wearing, so you don't want to knot it off, okay? So I'm just going to simply work in the thread, I mean the yarn, back and forth three times. And that's the roll, the roll of three. If you do it three times, it'll never come undone, or so they say. So I'm just kind of going at different places. I'm trying to catch the back so it doesn't mess up any of my stitches, okay? And then you can cut off. Just like that. All right. And so now I'm going to keep this on here on the bottom so we can show where the bottom is. And now you can start anywhere you want um, on the top of your rim to make your project. So I'm going to pull back this pretty green color that I was using. And I'm going to go into any stitch that I want to go into. And I'm simply going to pull up. To join there and right in that same stitch where I pulled that in I'm going to do one single crochet and I'm going to do a single crochet all along the edge of the rim and what I need is 70 single crochets now here's the thing and this can be hard for beginners but basically you want 70 single crochets all the way around and there might be places where you need to add more or less. The key is, is that you just want to try to get the 70. That's all that matters. So, and I want to go low enough and into enough stitches where it's not pulling and making gaps. So if I just pull like that in there, that might make a gap. So I'm gonna make sure that I go through some stitches here, okay? So it's even. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So as you can see, there's no rhyme or reason as to necessarily where I'm putting the stitches. I'm just trying to get them in there, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep going around doing my single crochets and when I get to 70, I'm going to meet you back up again. And like I said, if I need to add or take away any, I'm going to do that as I go along, okay? So I'll see you in just a minute once I get my 70 single crochets around. Okay, so I did my 70 stitches around my single crochets, and um, I did have to skip a few here at the end to make it even. And like I said, you might have to add or skip. That's fine. Don't worry about it. You just need the 70, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to go right into these V stitches. They're called half double crochet V stitches. And that's what we're gonna do to give it this great textured look for this beanie, okay? So it's super easy. What you're gonna do is you're gonna chain up three, just like that, and then right into this same space right here that we were working out of, okay? We're going to put a half double crochet. So let me just show you real quick with my darning needle. Right here is this stitch that we're working into, okay? And so we're going to go right into there and we're going to put a half double crochet. So that chain of three counted as a half double crochet and chain one, okay? And then, then we have our half double crochet. So that's our V stitch, okay? So then we're gonna skip one, we're gonna go into our next stitch and we're going to put a half double crochet, chain one, and then a half double crochet. Then skip a stitch, go into your next, and you're gonna put a half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. And again, skip your next stitch, go into the next one, half double crochet, chain one, and then another half double crochet all in the same stitch. And again, skip one, go into the next, half double crochet, chain one, and then a half double crochet. So I'm just gonna go a little bit slower so I can show you again, skip your next stitch right here, go into the next one, yarn over, Go into the stitch, pull up your yarn. You have three loops on your hook. 
go through all three loops. Then you chain one, meaning you're just gonna go through one stitch. Then you're gonna yarn over, go into the same stitch you've been working into, pull up your yarn, you have three loops, go through all three loops, okay? And again, skip one stitch, go into the next, work a half double crochet, chain one, and half double crochet. So you're just gonna keep doing that all the way around, okay? And then when I get to this last one over here, I'm going to show you how to um, slip stitch together and how to keep going, okay? Now, the way that we're gonna slip, sti slip stitch this and keep going is gonna look like it's being done in the round, but it's not. So that's really great for people who aren't familiar with working in the round or don't like working in the round, okay? So go ahead and finish that up, what I just taught you, and I'll see you in just a minute. Okay, so we're coming up to our last stitch here, so we're gonna skip one, go into this last one, put a half double crochet, chain one, and another half double crochet. And then what you're going to do is you're going to slip stitch to the second chain of this first chain of three that we did. So when we first started, we chained three, but you only wanna to go to the second chain up. So, so here's one, and then here's one, and then here's the third one. But remember when I told you that that counted as a half double crochet and a chain one. So we wanna go into the top of the half double crochet, meaning we wanna go into this second chain right there, okay? So we're gonna go right into there. We're going to put a slip stitch. And then what we're going to do, and this, what's make it look, this is what makes it look like you're working in the round. Instead of starting right here, you're gonna go into this next V stitch right here that we did, and you're going to put a slip stitch. And that's gonna get us right into the middle of that. And you're gonna do that for every row, okay? Or round, rather. So now you're going to chain three, just like you've been doing. That counts as your half double crochet chain one. Then you're gonna yarn over, go back into that V stitch, pull up and go through all loops. Then you're gonna look for your next V stitch. You're gonna go into the middle of that and you're going to work a half double crochet, chain one and a half double crochet. And again, you're gonna go to the next V stitch, work a half double crochet, chain one and a half double crochet. And again, into the next V stitch, half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. And one more time into the next V stitch, half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. Okay, and so then you're gonna go all the way back around and you're going to do the same thing again. So you're gonna get right back to over here and you're gonna slip stitch into the top of this chain of two and then you're going to slip stitch into the actual V and then you're gonna keep going again. So that's all it is, guys. You just keep repeating that over and over again. Now, like I said, if you're new to crochet, if you need to rewind and look at everything again, that's perfectly fine. Just look below if you need to slow this down if I'm going too fast. It gives you that option below as well, okay? So, but yeah, just keep going round and round doing the same thing. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do that for 14 rounds, okay? So once you get to 14 rounds, then we're gonna stop and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how to cinch it all together and how to put the poof on the top, okay? Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to cinch up the top here. We've got our 14 rows. And the way to count these rows, I also wanted to show you this because sometimes these can be hard to count these V stitches. So what you do is you just look here from the very bottom of your, your ribbing. So right here's our ribbing, right here it ends. So I'm gonna count this V, this V, this V, this V, this V, this V, as you see. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, okay? So that's how you count those. And so um, I've also got the little puff here. I'm gonna show you how to put this on. There's a lot of videos on how to do these. Um, I'm gonna put in the description box where you can find these at. I found a, a great set on Amazon in case you wanna use this. Like I said before though, you don't have to use one at all. And of course you could make your own little um, puff with, a, with yarn, okay? So first of all, what we're gonna do is, is I'm going to take out plenty of yarn here 
probably about two foot or so, more than I need, to go around and cinch up the top of this beanie, okay? So we're going to, so there's no decreasing for this beanie, and that's what's great about um, these kind of beanies. You don't have to do that, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go right through here and go ahead and um, tie that off, just like that. And then I'm going to go through my stitches in and out just like this. So I'm just taking my darning needle and I'm going in and out the very top. Now, I wanna tell you something that I learned when I was new to crochet and I was learning how to cinch up these kind of beanies many, many, many years ago. I would like to go like way down here or go deep into my stitches. And if you do that, it's not gonna cinch up properly. So you really wanna go to the very top and you want to go just through, just like that, the very top of your stitches here. Just like this and then you can pull through and then just keep going it doesn't have to be through every stitch as a matter of fact it'll probably cinch up better if you don't but try to hit most of them So just going in and out and then pulling as I go. And then we get back to where we first started, you can pull really tight and cinch it all together. And this is where I was saying if you wanted to use a stitch marker, you could to show right, but I can see right there is where we started. It starts bunching up. Bunching up. Um, but I do wanna make sure I go right to the very end here and so then I can pull through, and now we're going to cinch up the top, okay? So we're just gonna go just like that, and it's gonna cinch everything up at the very top of your beanie, okay? Just like this. Now there's still gonna be um, a small hole there, and that's where you're just gonna sew it together. So I'm just going to go back and forth with this, Just sewing this little bit of hole that there is left together. And then I'm just gonna pull tight again. And then I'm gonna go all the way over here to the other side. So I'm gonna work through my yarn. And because I see a tiny little opening over here. Just wanna make sure that it's thoroughly closed. Just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to use the same yarn here. I'm gonna use it to pull in the top, my puff, okay? So I'm gonna go right back down into the middle of this beanie with this yarn, which kind of might seem crazy to you, but I wanna come through the top for my, um, my puff here. I hope y'all are having a happy holiday season and happy crocheting. I'll see you again soon, bye-bye.